Now Bam Tracy, out to Biddle. Welcome back. Yeah, no problem. How long has he been out? 15 games? Shell set off the Dante screen. Six to shoots at the wing. Kuzna, got it. He's really shooting well of late. Any seven threes against Utah. Shell set off the Dante screen. Six to shoots at the wing. Kuzna, got it. He's really shooting well of late. Any seven threes against Utah. And I have a feeling he may not get 23 and 10 every night, but his production's going to be there. Perez. Dante wipes it. Rigsby defensively, 10 to shoot. Phillips drifting over for the screen. A little two-man game. Dante disrupts. Arizona State doing a good job of getting back, too. This has all been half-court offense for Oregon. There you go. Dante finally snaps the screen. High, low. All Dante's got to do is seal and hold the defender on the high side. There's just nothing easy for Oregon offensively. they got to keep trying to get it down there to Dante. Rigsby alone in front of the ASU bench. There's just nothing easy for Oregon offensively. They gotta keep trying to get it down there to Dante. Rigsby all alone in front of the ASU bench. Three point percentage. Not a huge volume shooter, but did the Ducks ever need this spot up triple? Tracy looking into Biddle. Biddle against two. Out to Tracy. Yeah. Knocked down. Big shot by Tracy. Tracy looking into Biddle. Biddle against two. Out to Tracy. Yeah. Knocked down. Big shot by Tracy. They've got it back to a two possession deficit. I thought we would see a good amount of zone from Oregon tonight. Bartholomew on the pull up. And a free throw to follow. The pressure starting to, to come off. Like, when you're a team, Jose Perez just understands how to play. I thought for sure he was going to try and put that up on the rim if Evans knocks down the three. But Perez sees the floor, kicks it out to the corner, and Gaffney knocks down the three. Miller gives them a different dimension, especially on the offensive end. What a take. And Folly Dante. Right there. Up until we got into league. And now they know. And at his side, this is Dante going to the rim. See if the game gets a little faster here in the second half. Mentioned that it was mostly a half-court game in the first half. Kuznard out of the corner. That was sweet. He's going to have to work harder to get to spots now. He's not the tallest of players, so he needs more room. If you're Arizona State, you got to do as good a job here in the second half as you did the first, controlling your own defensive board. Kuznard got the deflection. Neal off the Phillips screen, lost the handle. Neal off the Phillips screen, lost the handle. Dante takes it away. Pass ahead, Shellstad, his first bucket. See if that gets him going. Sometimes all you need is to see it go through. First transition point for the Ducks. Now can they go back to back? Brennan Rigsby. A rare mistake by Frankie Collins. Uh, Oregon loves setting up this press after Meg's Shellstad with the hand, Rigsby with the finish. Kuznar to the corner. It's a tough three, and he knocks it down. Kwame Evans Jr. Dante holds it up to defenders. Sun Devils wow. nearly dug it out instead of yeah. up for Evans. What a bounce for Oregon. Compared to 43 for the homestanding Ducks. Perez. Nice. Phillips. And it's swiped by Bartholomew. What a recovery by Bartholomew. Should have been an easy dunk for Phillips. Bartholomew for three. Yes, sir. But Bartholomew with a huge block here gets Oregon going. What a recovery by Bartholomew. Should have been an easy dunk for Phillips. Bartholomew for three. Yes, sir. Ducks on the high side. Timeout ASU. Bartholomew downhill. Leans in. Takes the contact and converts. Rigsby with single digits on the timer. Evans gets it down low. Dante does the rest. Uh, Jemai Neal got switched on to him. He, he can't really deal with the size and strength of Dante down there. The other Oregon defender 
defenders are staying attached. So he has no. Now three on two the other way. Rigsby on the counter. Duck out. Crunches two more. Now three on two the other way. Rigsby on the counter. Duck out. Crunches two more. Shellstad defending. Collins goes past him. Hangs into Dante, who backs it away. You got a game at 4 o'clock on Saturday. You got to get yourself back off the mat. Get ready for it. Does make that trip to Corvallis higher leverage, does it not? Mm -hmm. Dante swats another with his fingerprints all over this one. I think you're right, these minutes important for Biddle as much as anyone else looking ahead to the weekend. And hopefully the stretch run for Oregon. Oquindo burrowing through. 